Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 5 best MIG welders, that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based in my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you want to see more information in the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure subscribe for more reviews ok so let's get started with the video. Starting at number 5, we have the Hobart Handler 140. If you are in the market for the best overall MIG welder for your home workshop, then this is a fantastic option. For starters, this model has one of the widest current ranges available on the market today. This makes it very easy to find the right amount of power for whatever project you have in mind. Dialing up this power is also quite easy, thanks to the simple to use voltage selector. This straightforward knob will allow you to select from five different power settings, which will save you from having to spend time fiddling to find the right voltage for your weld. Another big selling point for this model is that it comes with each and everything that you might need to start welding right away. While many models only come with the most basic parts, this welder has a gas gauge, circuit clamps, and the nozzle to get the job done. It even comes with flux wire if you don't want to have to use any gas to get clean welds. This machine is also built to last. It is made to be extremely durable, which is never a bad thing. The only real issue that you will need to keep in mind with this welder is that, even though it has a wide current range, it is not good for thicker metals. Of course, it works perfectly up to its thickness maximum of 0.7 mm, making it a great option to be used in a home workshop. Moving on at number 4, we have the Forney Easy Weld 140 FCI. If you are someone that needs a welder while you are on the go or you just like to move about your shop to work at different stations, then this is the welder for you. This model weighs in at a trim 19 pounds, which makes it very easy to pick up and move from place to place. The carrying handle is another nice touch that makes moving this model a simple practice. Something else that makes this such a nice option for use on the go is that it is designed to be used without gas. Instead, this welder is meant to be used exclusively with flux wire, which is provided when you buy the welder. As you would expect from such a lightweight and portable machine, this welder is also quite compact. This easy-to-move design will allow you to store this model when it is not in use in a cabinet or in the back of your vehicle. The compactness of the welder only adds to its portability, which is, obviously, ideal. The only real issue with this powerful and compact MIG welder is that it has a very slow wire feed. While this shouldn't be too big of an issue for a beginning welder, it might seem way too slow for someone that knows what they are doing. Of course, this slower than average wire speed will force the user to take their time, which should result in even better welds. At number 3, we have the Lotto's MIG-140. If you are someone that uses your tools a lot and doesn't want to have to worry about your new welder breaking down, then this is probably a good model for you. This welder from Lotto's is built to last. Everything about it is extremely solid, from its handle, nozzle, and outer casing, right down to the controls and wire feed. No matter how much you intend to utilize your new welder, this model should hold up for a good long time. Not only will this welder last for years and years, but it also comes with just about everything that you need to get started welding right off the bat. The only thing that doesn't come in this package is a gas tank, but everything else is present and accounted for, making it a very convenient purchase to make. As you would expect from such a well-built machine, this model has a handy overload protection system built into it. This system will help to keep the welder from experiencing any unwanted energy spikes that could ruin the welder. This will, thankfully, help to keep the welder working even longer. While the variable speed dial is a joy to use, the trigger for this welder is a bit difficult to get used to. Unlike other models, this welder has a simple on, off toggle switch. This might provide a bit of a learning curve to anyone that is used to standard triggers, so keep that in mind before you make your final decision. At number 2, we have the Hitbox MIG-250. While most home-based MIG welders are not prepared for larger welding jobs, that isn't always the case. Take this model, for instance. 
While most home-based MIG welders can only be used on metal that is, at best, 0.7 mm in thickness, this model can be used up to 1 mm. While that might not seem like all that much, it can make a very large difference if you are trying to complete a heavier duty project at home. As you would expect with a model this powerful, this welder has a current range that goes all the way up to 250 amps. This extra power provides the right amount of electricity to quickly and easily weld thicker metals with this machine. Of course, this also means that you need to have a heavier duty 220 volt electrical outlet for it to operate out of properly, so bear that in mind before you make your final decision. Surprisingly, even though this model is so powerful and uses so much electricity, it is actually not that heavy. This makes it quite simple to pick up and move from job to job or place to place. This versatility is something that really helps to set this welder apart. Add in the fact that you can use this machine with or without gas, and you can see why it is so easy to use in lots of situations. The only real issue with this otherwise wonderful welder is that the instruction manual is very difficult to understand. This shouldn't be a problem for experienced welders but might cause some consternation for someone that is just getting started. And finally at number 1, we have the Sungold Power MiG-140. There are no two ways about it. Welding can be a very expensive pastime. In fact, most welders, even these smaller MiG models, can get quite pricey. While that might not be an issue for an experienced welder who is looking to keep their shop up and running, it could be a problem for beginners. The last thing that you want to do is spend a ton of money only to find out the model you have purchased doesn't work too well for you. If that is the case for you, then this is the model that you should look into first and foremost. For starters, its price is extremely reasonable. Aside from that fact, however, this model also has plenty of great features to help make welding an easy and fun hobby. Its only real issue is, in fact, that it doesn't come with a reference chart to figure out the different metal types and what kinds of power you need. This model has a very large current range. In fact, it can even be used at 220 volts as well if need be. This extra power will provide you with more current than a standard MIG welder, which is ideal if you are making or working on larger projects. Something else that really helps to set this model apart is its shorter than average duty cycle. While it still does need a rest period before being used again, it is much shorter than many other models out there. While most models have a 20% duty cycle, this particular welder has a duty cycle of 60%. That means that for every 6 minutes of welding, the machine only needs to sit for 4 between work, which is a very quick turnaround. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.